Hello friends, in this short video, I'll explain the interesting concept of super hatching in AutoCAD. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. In fact, the super hatch command is available in the Express Tools ribbon. When you click on the Express Tools tab, you will get a number of commands with which you can extend the capability of AutoCAD software. Now you have super hatch command here. Super hatching in AutoCAD can be used to fill any desired area with an interesting texture or user defined pattern. Let's consider this plan of this residence and I would like to fill this area with a wooden texture. Before you perform super hatching, you have to define the area as a closed area. In fact, when you consider this area, you can find some openings here and there, which are nothing but door openings. So I'll go to home tab and I'll click on polyline and I'll start a polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint to close that area and from here to here to close that area. I'll also close this area as well as this area. Now I'm going to super hash this area with a wooden texture. Let's see the procedure. So I'll click on express tools and I'll click on super hatch. Now we have a number of options over here. That is image, block, extra attach, wipeout, etc. In this video, I'll explain the most useful options in the super hatch command. So I'll click on image and I'll choose the wooden texture, which is kept on the desktop. It is just a JPEG file with a resolution of 600 by 600. I'll open it. Now you can see the preview of that wooden texture here. Now I'm going to attach this image. In fact, this dialog box is the image attached dialog box. Now I'll give OK. Next I'm asked to specify the insertion point. I'll pick this corner as the insertion point. Now I can specify a scale factor either by inputting a value or by picking a point by looking at the preview of it. I'm not going to give any value, but instead I'll just pick to define the scale. Left click to define the scale. Now you will see the preview of the wooden texture here. Is the placement of this image acceptable? Now I'll give yes, it is acceptable. Next, I'm asked to pick an internal point. I'll pick an internal point. Now this particular boundary is identified through the ray casting method. In this method, the software emits imaginary rays radially into all directions from the pick point and it identifies the immediate outer boundary encountered by this ray. Now this boundary is identified. Next I'll give an enter. Now you can see the wooden texture being applied to this area. Next I would like to fill this particular area with a user defined pattern. I'll press Ctrl 1 to go to the properties palette. I'll change the color to a different color. Let it be this particular color. Now I'll make a rectangle using the rectangle command. So I'll click on rectangle command. I'll pick my first corner over here. Now I'll go to the dimension option. The length of the rectangle I'll type as 60 and the width as 60. Now I'm asked to pick the opposite corner point. I'll just pick one point over here to define it. Next, I'll go to chamfer command. Now I'll go to distance option of chamfer command and I'll give the first chamfer distance as 15 and the second chamfer distance as 15. Now I'll go to the polyline option of chamfer command and I'll click this square which I've created just now and you can see that all the four corners will get chamfered simultaneously because they have used the polyline option. Now I'll block the chamfered square using the block command. So I'll go to the insert tab. Now I'll click on create block. I'll give the block name as floor tile. I'll give the insertion point as this corner point. So I'll track these two endpoints to define the insertion point. Next I'll select this object. Now you can see that the delete option is selected here. If you need any clarifications on creating blocks, please go through my video on blocks. I have provided links at the upper right corner as well as at the description section. Now I'll give OK. It's blocked. 
Now I would like to fill this entire area with this pattern. So I'll go to Express Tools, I'll click on Super Hatch, I'll click on Block option this time and I'll select the block which I've created just now which is the Floor Tile. Now I'll give OK. Next I'm asked to specify the insertion point, I'll pick this corner. I'm asked to give the scale factor, I'll give Enter because I would like to accept the current scale. Now no rotation angle. Next I'm asked, is the placement of this block acceptable? I give yes, which is the default, so I'll give an enter. Now I'm asked to specify the block extents. I can either specify block extents manually or I can just give an enter so that the magenta rectangle which is the default option will get executed. I want this magenta rectangular area to be selected, so I'll give an enter. Next I'm asked to specify an internal point, I'll pick a point here, so this entire area is identified through the raycasting method. Now I'll give an enter. Now you can see that this entire area is hashed with this chamfered square which you have created just now. Hence, super hatches can be used to render two-dimensional figures in order to conduct interesting presentations. Please hit the like button of this video if you find this video useful. Thank you so much for your time. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic, bye bye and take care. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses you will also get all future updations of lessons for free you can get all your queries answered through whatsapp chat and mail